So this question comes from Connor D. I was just wondering if you went to college and if you did what you majored in. I'm having trouble deciding between computer science and computer engineering and was just looking for some insight. So my college degree. Well, my college degree, much like the college degrees of many of the geeks of my geek generation, has nothing to do with, uh, with IT or computers or any of that. You do have to remember way back in the 90s um, that IT was a rather new field. Like computer science had been around forever. Um, but like IT, you know, like when you're thinking about, um, you know, Active Directory and all that kind of stuff, this was a really a rather new frontier. So many of us that got dragged into IT and computers and all that kind of stuff, we really didn't have a, a great background uh, in the area. They basically, and it really was at the time, uh, if you were willing to learn, a lot of companies hired you. Um, I had a lot of friends back in the day who would get like sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year jobs, literally to learn things like programming. Um, I knew a, a lady who made a lot of money learning COBOL because her it literally was her bank was going to be deploying um, the, this this mainframe. They had nobody that could administer the mainframe, so they went to all the employees and said, "We are willing to pay you literally to learn COBOL, so that we have somebody that can program in COBOL." And that's how she got into programming. Cobalt. No computer science degree. The, the bank just came to her and said, hey, if you're, if you're willing to spend a year learning COBOL, we will pay you your salary the entire time to do it. So, uh, so a lot of us, again, we have really random uh, degrees. My degree uh, is in criminal justice, which may show you why I dislike all those hackers out there so much. Um, so the question then becomes, realistically, you know, I've been doing this for a long time now. Um, you know, it sounds like a joke when I say I'm old at 38, but for, for tech, in the IT world, being 38 is, you know, it's getting close to, to, to the over-the-hill side um, because things change. You know, what was true back in the 90s is fundamentally not true now. Uh, so if you're looking for what computer, uh, what degree to get uh, in technology nowadays, uh, you've got a couple of options. I've talked about this in the past, but I'll just rehash it again. Basically, there's computer science, there's computer engineering, and there's IS, uh, information systems, or IT, information technology. Those are basically the same things. Uh, what, what it comes down to is computer science. Uh, computer science are the, like the scientists that program computers. So if you want to learn how to program a kernel, create the kernel of an operating system, if you want to learn how to program device drivers, if you want to do that kind of nitty gritty programming type stuff, um, then you would want to do computer science. So if you want to create the next Chrome browser, you would do computer science. If you would want to help uh, create the next operating system, you do computer science. If you want to create the next Minecraft, you do computer science. So it's all the software stuff, the bits and the bytes and the text files and the compilers and all all that kind of stuff is what you learn in computer science. When you go to computer engineering, uh, you go to the other side of the house where you basically start dealing with the hardware. So, you know, when you're coming up with things like touch screens for computers, when you're coming up with speakers or cameras or any of the devices, the hardware devices that the computer use, uh, uses, that is what you create in computer engineering. So mice and keyboard and sound cards and video cards and all that kind of hardware-y type stuff. You still need to understand how to program, um, but it's more, like I say, the, those hardware devices. Then you get to IT or IS, and basically in that world, uh, is, is my world, what I deal with, is you deal with products that have already been created, already have been mass produced, and then what you do is you take those products and turn them into a useful system. So with that is you take uh, you know, 300 Windows PCs, you take 10 uh, Windows servers, you take some Cisco switches and routers and access points, and you all tie that, you tie that all together to turn that into a network that a company can actually use. So that is the differences between those fields. Computer science is programming, computer engineering is hardware, and then ITIS is taking the finished product. Again, this is one of those things um, where you have to think about what you really want to do in life. Um, I love computers. I love IT, obviously, uh, but I hate programming. I really do. I, um, I went to get a computer science degree at one point, and that didn't last very long. Uh, no offense to the, the, the college. It was actually a very good university. 
I just not do not like computer science. And that is one thing people don't think about enough is that these different fields require different abilities. So for IT, uh, a, a rather small percentage of my time is actually uh, in front of computers. So sitting in front of a computer and actually doing something very intensive in front of a computer, it's really only about an hour a day, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, you go in, you deal with the configurations, you deal with this, you deal with that. Uh, but a lot of my day, uh, even back when I was a consultant or the a normal, a normal IT professional, uh, a lot of my day was doing things like talking to the C-level executives, finding out what the business requirements are. It was talking to the secretaries and the warehouse people and discussing what issues that they were running into and what ways we could optimize stuff. It was talking with all the other uh, people in my IT department and figuring out you know, what, what was going well for some people and what wasn't going so well for others. It was doing stupid ass things like wrapping cable. Um, I'm, I'm one of the companies I worked for, literally, when I walked in the door, they I, I'm not even joking, they had like a full... <laughs> pile of all these old cables and so I spent a week one time just wrapping the cable. I mean, it's wrapping cable, running cable, doing that kind of stuff is things that IT people have to do. Whereas if you get into computer science, right, uh, they put you in front of a computer screen and then you sit there for eight hours a day doing your coding. Um, I have been to the local development shops around here and those developers make a lot of money and the development shops make a lot of money, but I would lose my mind. It looks like a freaking cattle pen. I'm not, even, I'm, not, I'm not even being snarky there. Like I went into one, I have the most respect in the world for the founder, I have the most respect in the world for in the world for the company itself. But you walk into this room, and oh my! Like in the space, I have my one desk here. They literally have three coders. It's like everybody sits at the like I'm sitting in this chair here. Everybody sits down at a desk only slightly wider than this chair. They have two screens in front of them, and then they just sit there with the keyboard and mouse like all day, and like literally. You know, the next programmer is only like two and a half feet away. I would lose my damn mind if I did that, right? Um, so that's what you have to look at. Again, when you get into the, the computer engineering, it's hardware. You learn how to solder, do all that kind of stuff. So those are your different options. Um, you know, you can figure it out, find out where you go, and just realize whatever your degree is, isn't necessarily what you will end up doing in life. And, um, and yeah. Those are the thoughts. Those are the thoughts. Hope that helps.